Hello and welcome. It's great to have you here uh, for our uh, devotion as we study God's word together. Uh, we are looking at, uh, we are in this series, we are right in the middle of the series, Our Attitude Matters. And uh, we are looking at attitude because an attitude is a settled way of thinking and doing things. And having the right attitude can really change our present. And if we can commit to develop the right attitudes in our lives, it can change our future. So the next 24 hours can drastically change if we have the right attitude. Today, um, we're going to look at um, uh, this attitude that we need to avoid. And that is the defensive attitude. Like someone said, the winner's edge is in the attitude, not fully aptitude. So it's, it's not the skill, it's not the ability in, in the final tally. You know, it's the attitude that we have, right? So when we always argue and justify our words, our decisions and our actions, no matter how bad they are, then it is a defensive attitude. No matter what we have done, you know, when we want to justify our action, when we want to justify our decisions, that's a defensive attitude. Um, this attitude creeps in when we always fear being criticized, when we always fear being judged or, reject, or rejected. This attitude creep, creeps into our life. So we feel that we are attacked whenever a feedback is given, whenever a, a feedback is given about our performance maybe, and when people say, okay, this is something that you need to change, and then we feel that we are being attacked, then uh, this attitude slowly creeps into our lives. When we have the habit of not owning up uh, to our mistakes, and when we have the habit of covering up our mistakes, covering up our, uh, whatever you know, we've decided to do when, we, when our mistakes are wrongdoings, then we, this attitude comes in, this attitude of being defensive. The downside of this attitude is this, we become closed to constructive feedback. So we become stagnant and we are not able to better ourselves. Secondly, we end up listening only to those, those people who say good things about us. Now that's a dangerous thing again, because we, we can, we might, this might be used by others to manipulate, to deceive, when they know that these are things that you would like to hear. So they keep saying that, right? Um, in wanting to defend ourselves at any cost and at all times, we also step out of truth and into lies. If we want to defend a certain action, if we want to descend, defend a certain choice, then we would get into lies and uh, that opens up our lives to, um, to the attack of the enemy. And we know more when we are no more there in the truth, right? So what do we do when we have this attitude? How do we deal with this attitude? We need to know that we are loved and accepted by God. That's first and foremost, despite all our failings, despite all our faults. And we need to be secure in our identity as sons and daughters of God. If we have done something wrong, then the best thing to do is to admit, to apologize and to make amends for, for our wrongdoing. And uh, if we have done something right, and if we are wrong, being wrongly accused, the best thing is to state the facts um, as firmly and as gently as possible. And you know that God is your defender. So there's no need to um, needlessly go on defending your choice, your action, your behavior. And I hope that this would set us free to, to really live, uh, live the way God wants us to be and not really uh, constrain us in any way. Let's look at Proverbs 15 verse 32. It says, He who disdains instruction despises his own soul, but he who heeds rebuke gets understanding. So when we have a, an attitude of not defending ourselves, knowing that the Lord is the one who defends us, that He is our vindicator, and when we, when we are strong enough morally and spiritually to, to acknowledge our wrongdoings and when we when we have the courage and the strength to make amends for what we have done what we have done wrong then we are truly we'll be living lives of freedom we'll be truly living lives of integrity and confidence and we don't have to give in to this attitude so let's pray and let's ask for humility let's ask for confidence 
instead of a defensive attitude. Father, we thank you, Lord. Give us a revelation of how you would see us, Lord. As you see us, Lord, and uh, how you accept us, Father God. Lord, I pray that this truth will be ingrained in us, that we are your sons, we are your daughters. We, we pray that this truth will be ingrained in us, Lord, that you come, Lord, that you defend us, O oh, Father God. When something goes wrong or when we do things, Father God, we pray that we would accept it. We would have the courage and the strength to accept and make amends. Spirit of God, I pray that you would strengthen us in this area. And Lord, we pray that this would be one attitude that we would discern and dismantle in our own lives. We thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.